still make a little noise. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, or boo, it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> well, uh, first of all, I am uh, the midday host, as he said, an assistant program director for High 96.3. As assistant program director, it's just what it is. I assist our program director in helping to pick the songs that we play on the radio, also um, with research in the songs and uh, assisting him in his daily duties on uh, coming up with different promotions and stuff like that. Uh, as far as the hierarchy, how it's set up for um, the employees of, uh, of Hot 96.3, you have your program director, which ultimately makes the decisions on what's going to get played on the radio. You have me, the assistant program director. You have the music director, and so you know for Hot 96.3, that's DJ Rec One. Uh, he's also very influential in picking the songs that are played. Uh, and then you have your uh, radio personalities, and then you have your mixers like Kenny Kicks back there in the back. Um, what else did you want me to talk about? <laughs> um, realistically, just wanted to be able to talk about a little bit more, if you can, about the process of programming, like what determines what songs actually do go on the air. Well, a lot of times people think that it's an easy thing, and it really isn't. Uh, there's a couple of factors that go into picking the songs that we play on the radio. Uh, we do music tests. So let's say uh, a song comes out like Hurricane Chris. Well, first of all, we want to see, everybody knows Hurricane Chris, hey, baby, hey, baby. Uh, <laughs> y'all like, yeah, whatever. I can't believe y'all even play that. Um, <laughs> so we look to see what other stations that are similar to Hot 96.3 across the country are playing that song. So um, for like Hot 96.3, we'll take a look at maybe the box in Dallas, or maybe we take a, a look at Hot in, uh, in Atlanta. These are stations that are similar to our station. And we see what the feedback has been on that song in those different cities. And then we say, okay, you know what? Well, since they're similar to us, we'll give it a try on our station. Okay, and uh, for those people that are actually looking to uh, attempt to get music on the radio, um, what are some of the processes that like the record, record labels go to to get music to the stations themselves? Or how do you guys receive it as far as you know, oh. the mixer meetings and things of that nature? Well, um, music comes to the attention of our program director or our music director. Um, one thing I want to touch on is, do we have any local artists out here right now? One? Two, three, okay, four. Um, and I hope that this person might be here. If not, I'm not trying to put anybody out there, but I want y'all to see how you should present your stuff. Number one, presentation is everything. It's absolutely everything. There are thousands of people who send music to our program director every day. I mean, he has so much mail, it's crazy. So the question would be, well, what's going to make yours stand out from everybody else's? And I'm giving y'all some tips, seriously, that I will take advantage of. If it means you need to put it in a humongous box, if it means you need to wrap it in Spider-Man paper to make it stand out, real talk, that's what you need to do in order to get it in the hands of the program director. Um, I have a CD here. This is somebody who gave me this CD sometime this week. And I'm telling y'all this from the bottom of my heart that this is not how you're going to get your song even listened to. Because I can't read the writing on it. I just got it handed to me just like this. I can't, I mean, so let me show y'all though what a local artist gave me, I think yesterday. Has a, has a cover. I opened it up. Has a list of his tracks. You know, and this is something, you know, he put some effort into. What this says to me is you really care about what you're doing. You really want to take this seriously. This is what you're trying to do as your career. You want to get paid from this, apparently. So you're going to put time into it. Now, yeah, this is going out there. Like, he really put a lot of money into it. Without a doubt, he did. But I can tell you that you can go to an office depot and buy CD labels for like five bucks. And you can, if you don't know how to make a CD label, because some of us are not, you know, computer literate or whatever, you can go to Kinko's and say, I want to learn how to make a CD label. So that you can do it 
in a professional way. So once you do that, you, uh, you can even bring it down to the radio station or you can mail it. You want to mail it to the program director. You want to mail a copy to the music director and you want to mail one to the assistant program director. And you definitely want to send them to the mixers. <laughs> now, understand a couple of things. When uh, you send your CD in, it doesn't mean that it's going to get played. You really, what you want, first of all, is you want some feedback, right? You want to know what these people think about your records. That's why we do stuff like have um, mixer meetings where you can come into the mixer meeting and you want to give feedback. Local artists, I know it's hard to get your song played on the radio. I know it. And that's because the radio station, just like any station across the country, is going to have really high standards for you. You have to come with not just a good song. It has to be a hit before it's going to get played on the radio. That means your song, and people, y'all have some good songs, but are they going to be a hit? And it has to be able to be uh, just as equal as any other song that we play on the radio station. So that's why you go to the DJs and you say, you know what, give me some feedback on this. You know, are you feeling this song? Or you ask the program director, yo, I want to be able to come and meet with you and just let's go through some of my songs and tell me, you know, what do you think about these? Or what do I need to work on? And it's cool because if you go to them, they won't be biased like your family members are going to be like, yo, it's hot. Even when it's not because that's your cousin. So those are some, some little tips, I guess, when how to get your stuff played. The program director or music director should be hitting you back, whether it's email or whatever. That's why you always want to make sure, just like this person had their card inside of the uh, CD, you want to make sure that you have your contact information in there so they know how to get back with you so they can let you know um, what they think about your project. In the streets, I mean, there needs to be a buzz about you in the streets. That's a big part of us choosing what songs we play. You know, you could be like, yo, I got the hottest stuff, but people, you know, if they're in the club and the DJ's like, I ain't never heard it, then who's saying that you have the hottest stuff? We need to have some, there needs to be some type of, of buzz about you.